In this episode, we are going to talk about electric field strength and interesting aspects in electrostatics. So, electric field strength, it is also known as the electric field intensity. So, if you don't see electric field strength and you see electric field intensity, we are talking about the same thing. So, what is electric field strength or intensity? Now, this is the force exerted by the electric field on a unit positive electric charge at a point. So, as we have a positive charge and a negative charge, we are going to experience some field around this negative and the positive charge. Are we okay? So, how strong, how intense is this field? This is just the basic idea. We want to know because we saw that as the lines of force between the two charges is close, the field is going to be what? Strong. And as they are far from each other, they are going to be what? Weak. So anytime we have two charges experiencing this electric what? field, we are going to find out if the strength is weak or strong and this is what we want to know as the electric field strength or the intensity is the force great or it is just a weak force so the electric field intensity is represented by the letter e and it is giving us the formula the force on the charge it makes sense because this is the force the line of force that we are talking about this line moving from the positive to the negative. This is the force lines. So in order for us to check the intensity, we must check the forces coming to the charge. And since force is involved and charge is involved, when we use this formula, we are going to know the intensity of the field. So a greater force is going to give us great what? intensity is that true when the force is also great it means that the line of force are close to each other and it is very simple so this is also giving us f on the charge which is q force is in newtons and the charge is in coulombs so we can see the formula as newton per coulomb now let's look at a diagram where we have a connection this way. So this is a second way to also find the intensity when we have a voltage and a connection of this parallel plates. So we have a parallel plate this way and we have another plate that way. Please pay attention here. So this is a circuit. This is the positive part. This is positive, positive, positive. This is negative, negative, negative. Now, what do we see? Since this is, these charges are positive and negative together, we are going to experience the electric what? Field moving from the positive to the negative this way. Is that true? Yes. So we are going to see as this lines is going to be the direction of the field. And we are also going to see that since this direction of the field is coming this way, then direction of motion of the electrons is also going to be this way. So this is also going to be the direction of motion are we okay this is our vote our voltage source what we want to see here is when we apply much voltage or when we apply voltage to this plate where we have positive and negative charges what are we going to experience how is the electric field strength going to behave from the first example we saw that we can just use this formula the force 
on the chart to calculate. What if we connect it to a voltage source where we have plates of positive and negative charges, and we are going to experience the field as a result of the voltage being applied. And what we are going to see here is that the intensity, the electric field intensity is going to be calculated as negative voltage on the distance. Are we okay? So meaning what we are saying is the voltage, the higher the voltage applied, the higher the intensity. And the distance D is the distance between the two plates. Are we okay? The distance between the positive plate and the negative plate. So what we see here is our V is the potential difference. So there are two ways of calculating for the field intensity, either the force and the charge or the potential difference when we connect it in a circuit. The potential difference between the plates. When we talk about the plates, we are talking about the positive and the negative conductors. Are you okay? This is the positive conductor. This is the negative one. Now, D is also the distance between the plates. The distance between the plates. And we know that distance is going to be measured in what? meters. Are we okay? From this part, we are going to see that our E is going to be in terms of volts per meter. So why this negative? Someone may ask why this negative? The negative sign means the motion is opposite to the direction of the field strength. From the diagram, you can see that as the field strength is moving from the positive to the negative, the motion of the electrons to cause the electricity in this circuit is also moving what upwards. So the negative is indicating the opposite direction of the direction of motion and the direction of the field. But during your calculation, you can use the formula V on D. Are we okay? So we are going to solve some examples to find the electric field strength. This topic is very easy. It's just a formula work you have to understand. And we can also move forward. So either we use the V on D or the F on Q to calculate. So the example are here. Let's look at example one. Now we are to calculate the voltage applied to a parallel plate capacitor if the plates are one millimeter apart and the electric field strength in the dielectric is 0 0.25 megavolts per meter so we are interested in calculating the voltage in this question we are given some parameters that's the distance between the parallel plates that means the positive and the negative plates from the diagram we saw the distance d is given us one millimeter and we are to work in meters which is the same as one by 10 to the power negative three meters and the electric field strength e is given the electric field strength e is 0 0.25 mega volts per meter and from our prefix mega is 10 to the power positive 6, and that is volts per meter. Now, we saw that electric field intensity or strength, which is E, is either given by force on charge or E is given by the volt on the distance, negative volt on the distance. So from this question, we are going to use this part to calculate for the intensity so our intensity is given our voltage is given our distance is given we are looking for voltage which means v is intensity multiplying the distance straight away we are going to get this we have our e so we are going to get our v 
E is giving us 0 0.25, 10 to the power positive six, multiplying the distance, which is one, to the power negative three. And our voltage, when we punch this, is going to give us 250 volts. So when we have parallel plates separated one millimeter apart and we apply a 250 volt to it, we are going to have a, an electric field intensity of 0 0.25 mega volts per meter. So it is very simple. Let's look at example two. Example two. Two parallel plates having a PD, that's the potential difference of 250 volts between them are separated one millimeter apart. Determine the electric field strength. This is similar to example one, just twisted. So here we are given the potential difference, which is our voltage V as 250 volts. And the distance between the parallel plates is one millimeter. And that is in meters one to the power negative three meters. We have to find the electric field strength E. Here we are going to use E is equal to V on D. So from the question, we are given the voltage of what? 250. And we are given the distance of 1 to the power negative 3. So this is going to give us 250 kilovolts per meter. Or this is the same as example 1, 0 0.25 megavolts per meter. So this is a simple example. We were trying to look at it. If we are using the same voltage and distance, we will get the intensity given. The last example, which is example three, let's look at how we will also manage that. So example. So the example three says an electric field of 2,500 Newton per Coulomb exerts a force of 300 Newtons. Now find the charge. So this is also very simple. We have some parameters given that our electric field strength, that's the E, is giving us 2,500 Newton per Coulomb. And we have a force F as 300 Newton. We have to find the charge Q. Now we know that the formula relating force to charge is also giving us intensity, which is the force on the charge, Q. So here we are looking for Q, meaning our Q charge is going to be force on the intensity. So the force is given and the intensity is also given us 2500. And when we punch this, we are going to get our answer. So this is 300 divided by 25. And that is going to give us a Q of 0 0.0033. And charge is measured in Coulombs. Are you OK? So either of the formula is appropriate either v on d or we have f on q it will help us to calculate for the intensity of the electric field that is how much strength is the force moving from the positive charge to the negative charge is thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel for more videos like and share your comments check out for the next episode